Hello my friends and welcome back to the Pop Culture Cafe. I am Huck and on today's episode we're going to do something just a little bit different. Um, in this little section that I got here, we did sort of a, a restructuring of this area and more of it became available to me. So I have a sort of a blank wall over here, I'll show you a shot of that. And then the wall next to it is also blank that I want to put some decorations up on, like some posters and photos and stuff like that. So the really fun part comes to what you decide to put on those shelves once they're built. So I, I wanted a, a cool set of shelves and my buddy Ken over at Mid-Level Media sent me the link. Thanks Ken. I really like the ones that he has behind him so I wanted to get those so the, that's what I have and put up there. So in this video I'm going to show you what I decided to put in them once they were built and then what decorations I decided to put up on the wall next to it once it was all said and done because I've got some great photos uh, with celebrities and some autographs and stuff that I want to show off to you guys right after this so stick around okay here is the corner in question it's all blank and bare now and here's all the pieces and we're gonna put it together Got a little Tay Swift going in the background, y'all, to get me in the zone. <laughs> you know how it is. Yeah, so there it is. <laughs> After some uh, way too much karaoke with the Tay Swift, got them all built. Slowly, I'm getting some ideas of what to put in here. But I think it's finally starting to take shape. So uh, let's do some close-ups and coverage and show you what we did. Here is the fully decorated shelf going all the way up to the top. It's already full, guys. That's how much stuff we have. I'll give you a little breakdown about how I did it. And this column here, it's all television shows. So it goes all the way down here with TV, and it's on DVDs and Blu-rays. And in the center here, this is where I've got collectibles with their matching franchises. See some Back to the Future, there's Elvira, and this is a, a collectible pop from the Funko store in Hollywood, Marilyn Monroe with all of her movies, Planet of the Apes, Rocky, Superman, and on this side I've got my steel books. As you can tell, I'm not a huge steel book collector, that's all I have so far. And then I begin my 4K section here, and then underneath all that we have my sci-fi section with all my Star Trek stuff and Star Wars stuff at the bottom. And then at the very top, we've got more collectibles, such as these miniature TVs, some more action figures, and big collectible box sets. Right next to it on this wall is my signed autographed Rocky poster from Sylvester Stallone himself. There it is, guys, a, an authentic signature. I had him sign it myself. Uh, at a signing that he was doing at a health club. Then underneath that, I don't have a lot of wall space, but I do have a lot of love for television, autograph, and movies. So every month I will switch these out. So currently for this month I have the TV show of the month is Friends, the autograph of the month is Carrie Fisher, and the movie of the month is Blade Runner. So in May I will switch those out with three brand new things. And below that is the section where I met celebrities, so let me show those off to you now. All right, let's go ahead and check out these uh, celebrity photos. We'll start over here right at the top with Sir Ian McKellen. He was doing a signing for Lord of the Rings. That dude was awesome and super funny. Here I am with Betty Thomas. She starred in Hill Street Blues and directed The Late Shift, which was about the late night wars between Letterman and Leno, and I got to be in a nice little scene in that movie. Here I am with John Delancey, a.k.a. Q, from Star Trek The Next Generation. Here I am with Bob May. He was actually inside the robot suit from Lost in Space. And here I am with John Schneider. Good old John Schneider played Jonathan Kent in Smallville and Bo Duke from The Dukes of Hazard. Cool guy. And this is Bo Svensson. I got to act with him in the movie Steel Frontier. And underneath him is the gentle giant Richard Keel, who's crushing my skull like a walnut. Uh, he played Jaws in two of the James Bond films. 
Here I am with Yvonne Craig. She played Batgirl in the 1960s TV show with Adam West. And underneath her is the lovely Susie Plaxon. She was uh, in Star Trek The Next Generation and played the character of Kalar. She was so cool, man. Loved it. Look at We're doing a little dance there. Very cute. And you guys all know this dude. Yep, it's me and Brian James. Uh, we acted together in Steel Frontier. He, of course, is... Uh, from Blade Runner and a whole bunch of other stuff. You guys know him. And speaking of knowing people, check it out. There I am with Billy D. Billy D. Williams from Empire and Jedi. It was awesome meeting him. And here's me and my friend Keith. We're on the sides. The guy in the middle, his name is Vic Flick. And he played the guitar. And he's known for playing that famous James Bond riff, that we all know. You know the one. That was him. All right, now let's head on back up here. Here I am with the lovely Olivia Munn. And of course, now I'm in a chokehold with uh, Kane Hodder that plays Jason Voorhees. That's <laughs> excellent. Sorry for the glare, guys. Here I am with my lovely friend, Debbie Derryberry. She's a fantastic voiceover artist and did the voice for Jimmy Neutron. And down here I'm with Sam J. Jones, Flash Gordon himself. And uh, here I'm hanging out with J. Michael Straczynski, creator of Babylon 5. And here we go in an uh, on-set photo from Steel Frontier. I'm with my buddy Jim Cody Williams, great actor. And here I am with another uh, friend of mine from Steel Frontier. He was on the set of another movie, but this is actor James Victor. And here I am in the center with Bill Mummy, best known for playing Will Robinson in The Lost in Space, but also Lanier from Babylon 5. Here I am with the lovely Chase Masterson, who played the Dabo Girl in Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And down here, I'm hanging out with Wally Wingert, another excellent voiceover artist. And the Star Trek love continues with Robert O'Reilly, best known for playing Galron in Star Trek The Next Generation. And we finish it off right here with me and Claudia Christian, who starred in the television show Babylon 5. Well, that's going to do it for today, guys. Thanks for checking out this video about my new corner that I'm very excited about with these new shelves and all my decorations. So if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor and hit like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. And we'll catch you guys later.